hello my beautiful darlings welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here first of all i want to say i had a moment today where like my solar plexus chakra was just literally out of whack i literally woke up to do my read and my mind went blank my conscious mind kicked in so like everything was just logic I'm someone that reside in my subconscious most of the time. So like my third eye is permanently open. It's always open. It's not something I'm able to shut down. So when something like that happens for me, it, it feels like I'm having a tower movement because like I have a hard time seeing what I need to see. So and it rarely happens. When, but when it happens, it's like really like stressful for me because like I'm not seeing what I need to see. So I had to do some things when I woke up so I could put that back in balance like immediately. I said, oh my gosh, this is so stressful. Why? Like, why is my brain doing this? Anyways, and I, and I think it's because I went somewhere I, I'm not supposed to be today. Like I went back to a building that I'm not supposed to be going to because of the energy that's in that building. So it was just like I didn't realize how much of an effect that environment had on me so when i came home i didn't do anything to like cleanse my energy i just went and took a nap and then when i woke up it's like my creativity my imagination like my spirituality everything was just like shut down and it was just so stressful for me but anyways we're back into balance let's go ahead and find out what in the name of sources going on here wherever you're from in the world welcome to the platform we are here to stay so someone a group of people are having a tower about a star sea an a, a indigo child that would be you my beautiful collective there is some type of revelation going on about you someone may have told quite a lot of lies or people were probably trying to steal from you um or it could be that maybe someone's told people that something happened to you that you were down and out and all of that you were destitute you were unemployed things like that you may have you know shown yourself people may have seen you people saw something about you maybe online on tv or maybe in just person maybe someone saw you shopping and they're like wait hold up they told me that she was this or he was this she don't look like that or he don't look like that right so there's some type of realization and humbling experience going on for a group of people. People are falling from grace because of things they did behind the scenes. It's like people, let's say for example, and I'm going to use this because this is something I've experienced, right? Let's say you work for a company, right? And uh, people, the management in this company and other uh, employees are doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your work and things like that. You know, you put up with this as long as you can because you have bills and families to take care of. So you end up staying for a little longer than you need to, but it gets to a point where you cannot stay anymore. People are messing with your money, uh, your work and things like that. Like I, for me, I used to have like a, a supervisor that would mess with payroll because I process payroll. So she would mess with payroll to make it seem like I didn't know what I was doing or they would like manipulate things behind the scenes to make it look like I didn't know what I was doing. And that's okay. That's broken people. That's what they do. That's karmic people and things like that. But you could have been going through a similar situation like this where people painted some type of picture about you. And this revelation is leaving people shocked, is humbling these karmics and things like that. People are seeing you as someone extremely, uh, someone extremely innovative, creative, and things like that. People, people may have been doing things behind the scenes to affect this very nature of you, right? Telling people that you are dumbfounded, you don't know your your. Uh, top hole from your bottom hole things like that lord that is kind of explicit to say please excuse me but people were just saying like all right uh, outrageous things about you right horrendous things about you but the truth is being seen that you are someone genuine you are someone kind you are someone who is a blessing to have around you are the truth you're nurturing so whatever lie they were speaking about you is being dismantled immediately people are having some type of chaos um behind the scenes today as well there is something where in the city that I stay, I live in the suburbs, kind of like borderline suburbs and city, right? Um, there was something going on where a co-worker of mine on their way to work, um, they said that they saw like 30 cop cars, like uh, rushing to go and arrest someone that had committed a homicide, right? And this person was 
uh, barricading themselves somewhere so that the cops couldn't get to them. But I mean, if there's 30 cops car, you might as well just kiss your freedom goodbye. And then I was thinking like, that is the best you could do. Like you on a live somewhere, that's the best you could do was barricade yourself in a space where you know they're definitely going to get you. Like how long are you going to stay in there, right? So there is something similar to that going on behind the scenes. There may be some type of fight going on because the truth is being seen and reviewed about you. Uh, so people that came up against you are fighting amongst themselves. Hopefully no one on our life, another person, but someone could be getting arrested, things of that nature because people are seeing the truth about them. There was some heavy betrayal that took place, not just against you, but against each other. This group of people, they were betraying each other as well, right? People are seeing you as someone successful or someone that has a lot of success coming your way. Um, and this is something whoever this was or whoever these people were were trying to block. You're being seen as the Queen of Cups, uh, which is quite the opposite of what was being spoken about you. It says someone said that you were uh, fake you are superficial, you are emotionally imbalanced, you are not nurturing, you are not genuine. Um, but people are finding out that you really are genuine, you really are nurturing, you really are down to earth, you really do care about people, right? You When you ask people how was your day or how is your day, you genuinely are asking because you want to know. Whereas other people, when they ask that question, they just ask it involuntarily and unconsciously and they don't really care. But that's not you. You're showing up as the Queen of Cups. There is also another Queen of Cups in here that is having some type of humbling experience. This is someone that was in a relationship with another person, right? <clears throat> And she's being left out in the cold because the truth is being seen about this woman, right? Someone is leaving a relationship with this woman out in the cold. Uh, she could have been pretending to be something that she was not. She could be being put out of a home um, for some of you as well. Um, it's like she presented herself to be in a specific light. And someone is finding the truth out about things that she has been doing behind the scenes actions that she has been taking uh, against you or against another person. You're showing up as the queen of wands as well. Um, so this person is being put out of a home or just being left out in the cold. So this relationship between she and whoever this masculine is, is over, right? And she's having a hard time adjusting. This queen of cups um, is someone that is into using dark magic, right? So this is someone that pretends to be genuine, but behind the scenes, she's going to like priestesses, dark priestesses, to get readings on other people or to order dark work to be done on specific people, i.e. you and other people she finds to be a threat to her or people she's intimidated by, right? Um, so th this woman is extremely imbalanced. Is there someone basically taking over your personality, your life, your ad identity in order to be you so that they can receive an opportunity Um and live a good life and it's being brought to an end it's like maybe someone connected with your soul twin your soulmate whatever we want to call it um because they knew that this person was a business owner this person had a lot of money um but this person has come to the realization of who this queen of cups is um this could be someone as well that uses passion you know like explicit passion and things like that to get what it is that she wants uh from men uh, and this is something she's been doing for quite a long time. So this person could have been telling this masculine that you are her and she's you. So she's pretending to be a divine energy and then painting you out to be a promiscuous energy, a hedonist, things like that, an egotistical person, a narcissist, whereas it's really her, right? You are taking charge of your life and moving on. You're not really even paying attention to these people. Like you've closed this chapter, but these people are still focused on you for some reason and it's just not making sense it's like someone's picking fights with you but you're not fighting back because you don't have a reason to fight with this person because you're not competing with them with, for anything you don't have anything to compete with this person for because you focus on yourself what's yours is always going to be yours and what's theirs is always going to be theirs there are people in life that think that they can manipulate soul contracts and it doesn't always have to be with love it can just be like the universal contract. They think that if they steal some of your energy and pretend to be you, then they will receive the blessings and opportunities that are destined for you. But that's not how... <laughs> That's not how that works. It's almost as though you're coding the un the universe dumbfounded. Like you just assume that the console are not paying attention to the beings that they're sending on this planet. Right? To 
a, a sin, right? Obviously, if they're sending you, encouraging you to come on this planet, that means they're paying attention to you. So they know what's going on. Um, and then let's not forget, like we all have lineage, 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 lineage. <laughs> we come from a lineage, each and every one of us, different lineages, right? There it goes. Lord Jesus, I could not get that out. So you pretending to come from a lineage that you do not come from, it's not going to lead to you receiving any type of blessing that belongs to their lineage. This is like, you know, a human pretending to be a God, a creator God or something. You're not from their lineage. So it doesn't matter how much you pretend to be a creator God. You're not going to receive those blessings. Now, the universe may sit back, Mayat may sit back and watch you pretend for as long as you want so they can get good entertainment out of you. But at the, at the end of the day, you're not getting anything. And whatever little they do allow you to get is going to come back to bite you in the behind. It's almost as though you're collecting karma, you're collecting debt, and you are happily walking around collecting debt thinking that you are, you know, ahead of the game. That's what, that's what that is, right? Um, so someone may want to take some type of action that comes towards you, Queen of Cups or Star C. Um, they have a lot of animosity towards you. They want to speak their truth to you. They want to put you in your place. You could be someone that's not just a Star C, but you're confident, you're loving, your things like that, and it bothers this person. And you're balanced as well, right? You're someone not just loving but you're beautiful as well so this person is like really intimidated by you they are you know heartbroken that someone wants to give you a love offer someone is seeing you as genuine someone is seeing you as passionate someone is seeing you as creative hardworking, and worth the the offer that they want to give to you someone is aware that you are gifted as well and this is because people could be watching you people could be hearing about you things like that uh so someone knows whoever is coming towards you they know that you are extremely gifted and creative so this masculine himself is gifted and creative so when you two come together you'll be a powerhouse and that's extremely beautiful this is what this woman was trying to prevent or this masculine let's not forget uh energy is fluid in tarot so uh, she could have been uh, afraid for you two to connect because she knows when you two connect, it's going to be a beautiful dynamic and a new empire is born. So this is what she's been preventing. Uh, for some of you, this is like someone stealing your work, um, you know, your creativity and things like that. They can only pretend for so long that it's theirs until the proof in the pudding is exposed and now they can't pretend anymore uh so i use this example in one of my videos where it's like someone sitting behind the screen pretending to be you but when they have to show up and present themselves like the person that shows up looks nothing like you that's what it is um there's also something in here which was which was just given to me it's like there's a couple that has been working behind the scenes to block you but there's something the woman in this uh pair has done that has ensured an ending for the two of them and the masculine is extremely pissed off at her i hear him yelling at her and things like that he's just done right um it could be that he's no learning the truth about her and the things that she's been doing behind the scenes apart from the activities uh, that he's been indulging in with her when it comes to you and blocking your forward movement but there's some type of tower very big tower that is going on there is a high priestess in here as well that people go to this woman is experiencing some type of ending as well this could have been someone that was mismanaging her gifts mismanaging her abilities mismanaging the assets that source has given her into the spiritual realm and it's being taken from her so whatever abilities that this that this high priestess have or had is gone it's been taken away right and this is why we need to be respectful of the blessings the abilities and the skills that source blesses us with uh and not take advantage of it as just like example for me i will never do not come to me to ask me to look into anyone else's life for you that is not my forte i will not i don't care how much money you're offering I am not looking into anyone's life for you. If you want me to look into yours, absolutely. But what's going on in John's life has nothing to do with you. Unless maybe you work for John and you want to know if John is planning to close the company. Obviously, that affects you. So then I will look into that and let you know, hey, uh, you need to find another job. Because John is not telling you that he's planning on shutting this business down because it's not doing so well behind the scenes. Okay? 
Um, but if it's something else, uh, uh I don't want no parts of it, honey. I've worked too hard to get to where I am. Okay. So this high priestess is experiencing an ending. She's putting, closing a chapter as well. Um, there's some type of closure here. Someone may want to have with you, but it's not really necessary because you have good news coming in. Someone is also hoping that if they can come and have closure with you, talk to you, tell you what happened in the past, why things happened in the past, the way they did. You two can still on the karma waters and things like that. Nope. That's not how it's supposed to be. You need to leave people in the past. I advise you to have mental funerals for people. Let them do what it is that they want to do. Um, and you move on with your life. Okay. Someone just wants to have closure with you so that they can have some type of reattachment to you because they know you have abundance coming in. You're about to be living that privileged energy. You're pairing up with someone here who is very successful and they know that you have a lot of resources coming your way. So they want to attach themselves to you so that they can have access to your resources so this is not someone that genuinely loves or cares about you they just care about what you're going to be having or what you have we're not here for that right there is some message coming in uh, about your work about your opportunity about a blessing a financial blessing something like that you can expect to receive a message. People have been doing a lot to interfere with this message. Someone wanted to rush in to block this message as well, prevent you from receiving the truth. But you can expect that there are people working behind the scenes to advocate for you, to make sure that whatever it is that's due to you, this payout, this judgment, is taking place because people are aware of what's going on. Someone wanted to come in, take some type of drastic action against you, cause you some type of ending, make you look foolish and undeserving of what's yours, but they're being sat down because it's just not happening. Spirit is kind of done with these people. It's like a bunch of grown-ups pretending, not pretending, a bunch of grown-ups acting like ch children over money, over resources that they will never have, right? And because they know they cannot have it, they don't want you to have it. But that's not how they're set up, right? You are going to receive what it is that's yours because it's destined for you. And it's going to happen at the right time, right? So nothing is ever late. Nothing is ever early. It always happens when it's supposed to. But these people are being sat down. Someone is throwing some type of fit behind the scenes, okay? We have the Knight of Swords out here followed by the the four of cups someone is throwing a fit someone is angry behind the scenes they do not want someone coming towards you they do not want you receiving some type of message but you are supposed to someone is traveling towards you to give you this news because they know people have been interfering with your messages emails text messages phone calls mail so they know they cannot send that stuff to you in mail so they are going to come towards you for a lot of you to present this to you in person because they know the actions people have been taking behind the scenes to interfere with your life, with your resources, with your forward movement. But someone is angry. Someone is pissed off. They feel entitled to what's yours. They feel like they deserve it more than you do. And it's not true. This is just someone selfish, egotistical, narcissist, uh, don't want to work for what's theirs. They see that you're, you are someone abundant spiritually and physically, and they feel like you don't deserve any more abundance, but that's not their place to decide. So your victory is ensured. You are moving forward. Someone is using logic, right? They are kind of just done with the situation. They know if they walk away from all the chaos, they have a beautiful chance at a new beginning to get away from chaos and th things like that. Someone is planning to... Oh, Lord, this is a lie. Someone is planning to pay someone to cause some type of betrayal to a king of pentacles, right? So this is what has been going on behind the scenes for a long time. People paying other people bribery, a lot of bribery to have people turn a blind eye, turn their nose, turn their heads, so they pretend like they don't see what's going on, but they see what's going on. But because the check is big enough, people will accept it. This is like people selling their souls you know, so in subtle ways, but they don't realize that they're binding themselves to contracts that's going to be extremely difficult for them to get out of because they're going to have to reincarnate the work of those contracts, right? Um, it's kind of like, and this is a little bit of a drastic thing. I don't think people realize this. Uh, this is why when like criminals go to uh, 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 um, their court hearings and things like that, and the judge will say, you are being sentenced to... 200 years right obviously we know people don't live to be 200 years but the justice system like those people in those higher ups position and things like that they are aware of spirituality so they are sentencing your soul not just the physical you 
they're sentencing your physical you and your soul. So when you incarnate again, you have that karma to work off. That's why they tell people you have 200 years, you have 3,000 years, okay? They're sentencing your soul. This means your soul is going to be incarnating for a long time in order to work off that karma unless you find a way in one of those upcoming lifetimes to work that karma off uh, where the person forgives you or the person ends up on aliving you as well and then that brings their karma to an end their contract to an end where you don't have to keep incarnating for 200 years right to uh, to uh fulfill that sentencing that they gave you in a whole nother lifetime that you would never get back so that's kind of what that is people are binding themselves to uh contracts that they don't realize they're going to be incarnating to uh work of to pay back and things like that so someone is accepting donations or giving out donations in order for a king of pentacles to be betrayed because he wants to be in a union with someone that people do not want him in a union with this king of pentacles however if he is experiencing an ending or did experience an ending it is because this is something that's well deserving because this person participated in whatever was going on with these people the, the ten of swords people tend to forget this is not something that just happens to you this is not like a, a accidental thing oftentimes right rarely ever is it something that you just happen upon it usually happens because someone took action against another person unjustly and this is happening to them because they are getting a taste of their own medicine so this is possibly what's happening to this king of pentacles right who wants to have it all with you but he did something to interfere with your connection your resources this is like someone that was supposed to possibly be like a high level soulmate but they went rogue my last reading i did there was a soulmate that went rogue like a literally we had the temperance energy followed by the seven of swords so someone went rogue okay someone fell from grace uh, a divine being became karmic and this was either because of a Jizzy Bell or because of resources. So that's kind of what this King of Pentacles is going through. They want to have the Ten of Pentacles with you. They may be stuck in some type of marriage as well. They cannot get out of. They're having some type of financial crisis. It's like they have money, but they cannot splurge um, because of choices that they made either against you or in business things like that this person could be married to someone or they're part of an institution that does underhanded things this some this is someone extremely religiously minded this is someone that is a fixed minded person right and you are showing up here as a star c which means that you two are explicitly different extremely different maybe this person is not willing to see things from your side uh see things from your perspectives this this is kind of how things go with higher fancies religious groups organizations and things like that they think they know everything because they've been practicing the same thing for 200 years passing it down their bloodlines not realizing they're they're just passing down confusion down their bloodline but because they have money and connections they think that whatever it is they're practicing is successful or it's right that's not how that works um so this person comes from a religious background this person could be part of a cult um or this person collaborated with a cult someone may have gotten married for money as well which is why we have the four of pentacles out here someone got in a marriage for money and it's hunting them and now they're like watching you move forward with your life standing in your truth not having time for the bs and things like that someone is having a lot of nightmares and anxiety someone is just not having a good day a good week a good month a good year someone has a long journey ahead of them um i don't know if they're going to choose to heal but someone could end up going to jail here there are some legal issues going on as well. So balance has to be brought into this situation. Someone may want to steal some resources and run away with them. Go on the run. But honey, where are you going to run? Where can you run to? Balance is going to be brought into this situation. There's a union here that is protected. Um, and this is something people did not want you getting into. Whether it's a work relationship, a work union, or a romantic one. People didn't want you two coming together, but this is a protected union and it's going to lead to abundance. People are not going to be able to stop this. Whoever is, whoever is planning on running away, there's nowhere to go. They're going to find you. Okay. 
Um, so you standing your ground, this relationship being protected, this union collaboration, whatever we want to call it, being protected because the two of cups does not always have to do with love. It can be like a successful business relationship between two people or a group of people. Um, it's protected, right? Uh, and this is going to enable you to seal on the common waters, move on with your life, which you already did, but there is some type of blockage that you are experiencing. It's not really a blockage, it's protection. Let's put it that way. There is some type of protection you are receiving at the moment when it comes to your resources and finances, but someone is taking action to come towards you to give you this investment, this payout, what is yours. They want to tell you the truth. They know that you possibly know a little bit or a lot about what's going on behind the scenes they're going to come and tell you about the truth right about a secret in regards to a king of wands something this person may have did in the past or behind the scenes uh this person the truth is going to be illuminated by them i like how the moon came out and then the king of wands followed by the sun that means that this person there's a secret about them that they are, have been hiding uh, and it's in regards to you this person took some type of action against you and it's being exposed they are being seen for exactly who they are someone's true color is being seen right they can no longer hide it this could be someone that is attached to some type of devilish uh energy institution Coven. The Coven thing has been popping out a lot in a lot of readings that I've done. Um, and then with some of the readers that I love to watch on YouTube as well, I've seen a lot of stuff coming out about Covens as well. And it's really alarming. So that just lets you know that there is synchronicity in the readings that readers are doing out here. Um, because a lot of the reads that are coming out are co correlating with one another, right? Uh, so this King of Wands... This person is attached to some type of coving, some type of institution. This person may have thought that their pathway was clear to come towards you, to present you some type of opportunity, uh, present you with something just to trap you in another situation. So just be mindful. If you are aware of someone that resides in this energy, be extremely mindful. Someone is under some type of illusion that if they can make it in your space, and that means it's clear for them to be with you because this is someone that knows that you are heavily protected. The fact that you are a star C means that you are always under watch. And if they can make it in your energy, then that means that they are clear to be with you. But that's not how that works. This is someone that's stuck, trapped in something that they cannot get out of. Um, so this tower that's taking place, it was a necessary one. People needed to see the truth about the matter. It's that, you know, you have a hundred people coming up against you, but you're not saying anything because you took yourself out of the situation. You're not there to clear up your name. Um, and then something supernatural happens one day where like people see things for what they are. It's like they find the truth out. Someone, um, uh, like a king of pentacles may have gone even to a high priestess to get the truth about a matter. Um, and this is leading to some type of uh, uh, balance being brought into a situation. There's a king of pentacles that is something about his wealth. It's like he knows that you are someone wealthy. Um, but I, I am so sorry. I just cannot get clarity on this person. It's like this person is trapped in something for resources. It's like they got into something for resources and it's really hunting them. They cannot leave or someone or they got married to someone and they're realizing that this person only married them for money but they're trapped with this person so they cannot just up and leave and they're finding the truth out about this person they want to close this chapter but it does not look like they're going to be able to because they're trapped with this energy that they went and rushed into a union with you start see you you're closing a chapter you're not looking for a closure from anyone you have a brand new beginning honey and it's filled with everything you could have dreamed of like you're about to have everything the the the, the family dynamics the love the career the business the empire you're about to have everything really quickly youtube please go ahead and share my content i am trying to do this full time i should have said this at the beginning of the video but i'm trying to do this full time so show your girl some love share my content like comment follow subscribe whatever it is you do on youtube do those things so i can uh expand out here please um but you have a beautiful abundant 
future coming up ahead of, ahead of you, which is allowing you to sail under calmer waters. Some of you may even be moving to another state, another city, another country to have this brand new passionate beginning. Yes, you may be sailing under calmer waters with a broken heart or just a bit of a stink uh, in your heart, but you'll be okay. And those things that you experience were meant to elevate you, help you ascend, help you heal, things of that nature. You have a lot of success coming your way. You're someone very innovative, very creative, things of that nature. You're really business savvy. Like you come up with all of these beautiful ideas and you take action on them. And you know, and sometimes they may not prosper into what it is that you dream, but that's okay. The What matters is that you took the initiative to bring those things into existence to try. I've tried a lot in different businesses. I haven't always been successful in them, but that's okay. I am glad that I took those initiatives to uh, start those businesses because I learned quite a lot through those experiences, those failures and things like that. I learned quite a lot, right? Uh, so whatever money issue you are having right now, it's going to be a okay. You're receiving an offer that's going to turn things around for you. This masculine who is trapped in this situation that's for money, um, <laughs> this person maybe end up having some type of turnaround in life. Okay. It's like this person wants to get away from whoever got married to him for money or whoever he got married to for money. Did I just repeat myself? You know what I mean? Okay. He wants to get away from them and invest into you, Queen of Cups. And this could be someone that's advocating for some of you in the in the uh, background to a whole institution, right? This person could have gotten in a relationship or some type of collaboration with a Queen of Swords and he's realizing that he effed up really bad. Okay. Um, because this woman has been very much determined to block you two from coming together and he's just now realizing this. But, you know, you have a higher level soulmate that's coming for you. One that's not going to be, you know, uh, uh, um, easily deceived and things like that. Some of you have an emperor coming your way is what I just heard. Um, so just be on the lookout for that. You didn't lose. This masculine is the one that lost. Um, it's like, you know, sometimes you come across people and they judge you because of how you look, what you have and things like that, where you come from. Um, and only for them to find out down the line that they really messed up. They effed up by, you know, not giving you a chance or not, you know, uh, uh, seeing you for who you are, seeing you as a, seeing the potential in you basically, right? And they think because they have money and you done that they have some type of powerful, uh, advantage over you. Um, and so they will like displace you or disregard you only to realize that they effed up when it came to you uh, sometime down the line. And that's quite okay. Uh, a lot of us, we are just karma. We are like a lesson when you meet us. It's like when you meet us, this is your time to redeem yourself or to just fall deeper into that black hole. And a lot of the times people will end up falling into that black hole because their ego is too big their their ego is larger than them right because of the amount of money they have in their bank account so they think they're better than you uh you're just a little fly they can flick up but they don't realize that you are like a goon in the spirit realm and god is testing them by bringing you into their life okay so someone is being sat down they're pissed up they want to pick a fight with you someone may want to expose some type of secret to you you're going to find this secret out regardless if this person tells you or not you're not living in fear this is what people wanted you to do they wanted you second guessing yourself feeling that you'll never you know prosper in life uh not knowing where your, your next dollar or check was going to come from but this is not the lifestyle source has intended for you uh so someone out here is being left out in the cold and that's quite quite deserving because this is what they were intending for you in the first place so it's like someone getting a taste of their own medicine and by them going through this they are thinking that if they come towards you that they will have victory with you someone knows you're not taking them back whether this is a friend of a ex, a family member, a frenemy, they know that the possibilities of you and you and them coming back together is just not happening. Okay. There is a pair in here, a couple, a king of wands and a king and a queen of wands. These two have been working together 
um, behind the scenes to cause some type of ending. Um, it could be they thought that they were in the same energy, that they were a match, but they're not. Someone also believed that you and them are a match, and it could be possible, but, be, but because this person accepted donations or bribery behind the scenes to interfere with a love connection or to interfere with your forward movement, they are realizing that they lost something really big. And you could have been this person twin flame in this relationship or this contract between the two of you have been voiced. So you are okay to move forward with your life to your higher level soulmate. Uh, for some of you, you and this king of wands will end up working things out together uh, because this is a divine union, a collaboration, a business union as well. And your pathway is being clear. Maybe this person was not aware of what people were doing behind the scenes and now they are and source is giving you to another opportunity to fix things so that you can move forward because we see this two of cups out here followed by the sun which means that you two your path is illuminated your path is clear the universe is guiding this union it doesn't have to be between this king of wands and this queen of wands but there is a union in here that is divinely protected and guided someone also may just want to give you some type of donation because they know that you've been dealt a really bad hand by people that were just either jealous or malicious or damaged internally so they didn't want to see you prosper right so someone may be aware of that and wanting to bring balance back into your life um there is something here where someone wants to come in and give you some type of foolish <laughs> that's one of my favorite words to use some type of foolish offer, love offer, and it's absolutely immature, it's not wanted, it's not necessary. This is someone who is a bit of a dreamer, but their dreams are not solid because they don't stay committed to people, right? So they may, you know, fantasize a lot about you throughout the day. Someone may even do stuff to your pictures and videos and things like that. If you're someone on social media or if you are dating this person and they have videos and uh, pictures of you, Someone may even be doing that. Um, but this person may want to come into your life and give you this false offer just so that they can betray you, but you are being protected by your ancestors heavily, okay? The truth is being exposed. You are someone that's going to be very influential, business savvy. You have a lot of success coming your way. So this person is more than likely just wanting to come in to give you this immature offer to attach themselves to you. There is a case going on for, on for some of you that's going to bring balance. Something here is very much protected. It could be this union. It could be your resource, your future, things like that. It, they're all being protected. Anyway, stay blessed.